Glastonbury Lake Village is unique in, in British archaeology in the sense of the survival, the scale and the preservation of the archaeological remains. Settlement probably provides our best, kind of most comprehensive idea of Iron Age life of, of anywhere we've got in the UK. It was discovered in 1892 by a, a chap called Arthur Bullied, who was then a medical student in Glastonbury. And then from 1892 to 1907, he excavated it in, in company with a chap called Harold St George Grey, who was the curator of the Somerset County Museum. And here we are, uh, over a hundred years later, going back, re-excavating some of their trenches and to try and assess the condition and the survival of this nationally important archaeological site. We've done some extensive monitoring work in this field where we've looked at how the water tables varied over time. The problem we had was we didn't know where Bullied and Gray's excavations had stopped, how far down they dug and where the in situ undisturbed archaeology was. So we've done five small trenches across the site to try and answer that question in those locations, see what height the archaeology is at, take samples to see what condition it's in, and then we can relate back to our water monitoring data. The other reason is we're trying to find out more about the site to resolve the dating problem, about when the village was occupied, and to get more information that Bullion Day didn't record. The importance of going back today in the, in the 21st century is to try and, as it were, to understand a little bit more about what they did, check the scale of their drawings, check the quality of their recording, but then on top of that we can now um, add modern research techniques, we can throw some science at the project, we can do some radiocarbon dating, we can take a few more samples for dendro dating to examine the tree rings. It's a very rare opportunity to, to investigate and see the wonderful archaeology that's here and see walkways that people have walked on back 2,000 years ago. It's, it's fabulous, really. This project is very much a partnership project between the County Council Heritage Service and indeed English Heritage, who are funding a lot of the specialist scientific research. Also with the local community, the Avalon Marshes Landscape Project, opportunities for some volunteers to come and help on the, on the dig and working on the project, internal drainage board uh, helping with the, the identification of drainage issues and water level management and of course the, the landowners, the local landowners, the Glastonbury Antiquarian Society have been great supporters of this, uh, the, this chance for investigation and scientific research. We won't have all the answers until we do lots of scientific analysis later on but it looks like from all these trenches we've done, we've got a lot of potential for answering a lot of questions about the site and probably throwing up a few new ones too.